So, Kellogg is dead. The fucker the toad? took my son to, um... to the sense. No, really. I swear. To the institution. So we have to talk to Valentine about this little thing. Wait, have I even marked that quest? No, I have not. Yes, there. Discuss your findings with Nick. Yep. So let's go talk to Nick and see what he has to say about all of this. Come on, Nikki. I'm just asking for your opinion. It'd be a great quote. She's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well. Speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Shit went. Oh, south. Let's go away to where to begin. Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I'm not going to be sarcastic because they're friendly to me, so I can't do bullshit either, even though I <laughs> kind of want to see what bullshit would be. But, nah, no. Let's go you with don't that. Know anything, Nick? I woke up in a junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. The Institute hasn't come calling since. I'm sorry. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. Well, we're going to figure that out. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Yeah, huh. he's dead. <laughs> uh, Whatever yeah. you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. <clears throat> Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. <laughs> You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Let's uh, ask about Dr. Amari then. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. <laughs> That's not much info. Piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? <laughs> I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Yay! Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? Uh, I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Well, if you're all already going, let's take our lover, Piper. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Yeah, probably like 50 more steps. All right, hey, Piper. Shoot. Piper. You know, the Institute has a lot of enemies. 
The Minutemen tangled with them once. The railroad still does. I've even got some notes on these new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. Yep, got a few notes there too. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, <laughs> the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they take whatever they want. Especially if it's high tech. They just yep. might have the muscle to give the Institute a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. They always do. Alright, so... You said something about the railroad? Supposedly, they help runaway synths escape the Institute, but... They're secretive. Ultra paranoid. The only thing I have is a rumor. A, a code phrase. Follow the Freedom Trail. Yep, already done that. Uh, Tell all me right. about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? As far as I know, they're the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. Yep, they used to be a, a volunteer army dedicated to protecting friends, family, and neighbors. Sounds soft, but they were real. I know I'm caring too much. We should get going. All right. So. Let's, hey, uh, just let me know. Help yourself. Trade her some stuff. Two sixty-two out of two hundred forty. I have a um, uh, shit. What's it called again? Uh, a perk. A perk. Yes, I have a perk. Uh, let's give her that. And should we give her something else from here? The silent penetration. Yes, I. I have named some questionable things. Uh, let's give it a monster too. All right, so the monster needs 45 calibers. So let's let's just give her the 45 calibers, and then tell her to equip that. There we go. Uh, should really get her better armor too. Alright, so, okay, good, good, good. Alright, let's go to the memory den. See if we can't figure something out from that splattered brain I have in my pocket. Alright, uh, map. And uh, we're going to Good Neighbor. The old state house, once one of Boston's most renowned historic buildings. Now serves as the headquarters of good, good neighbors Mayor Hancock. According to popular legend, the leader took his name when he took the famous statements. Oh, shit, I should really read a little faster, shouldn't I? So I'm not even going to bother reading that. The loading screens always takes a little longer, as we know, when I'm recording. All right. Huh? Shut up, Drifter. In case you're wondering, the Diamond City radio signal comes in loud and clear here in Good Neighbor. And that Travis, man, he got good. Yeah. I helped him get good. Giving him some confidence. And a girlfriend, too. Which was kind of cool. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about little old me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. <laughs> He's a smooth talker, ain't he? He's downstairs, you big flirt. <laughs> All right. Lead the way, Nikki. Can she look more like a prostitute? Probably not. Well, maybe you can, but a high class prostitute, nevertheless. Piper go. Piper! Alright, to hell with her. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I remember you. H222's contact. What's this all about? Hmm. Well, there we go. Extracting, uh, yeah, this one's make. all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp 
Kellogg is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? <laughs> yeah. Besides the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. Oops. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who could make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yes, I do. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go, Go on, on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But cool. That's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. <laughs> uh, you really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're that ready, is how a hero sounds. Just sit down. If I start cackling like a like grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. Shouldn't you at least take his hat off? I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Uh, wait, Tell Rick, me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? So we have to find another scent. Both you and Mr. Valentine oh. into the memory lounger. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a cool. host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. That sounds interesting. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Fingers, toes, shoot. On the other side. If I can, I'll cross my balls, too. Please stand by. I will. Yeah, you just hold it there, little piper. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Now this should be interesting. What will I see? Oh, I really hope I don't see myself murdering my husband. That would be kind of freaky. Can you hear me? Would be cool, though. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite <laughs> fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one <laughs> that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. This, uh, okay. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. This? Okay. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Yeah. Wait. Okay, so this is like a road. I have to walk on it. To get there. Well, I wonder what would happen if I fall off. I wonder if I even can fall off. And that makes it official, folks. The final vote counts. Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! 
Me! I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. Uh, normal. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. Uh, but really, what was that? I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. So he was in the NCR for a while. That's, uh, well, basically they're all mm, fucking assholes. Joke. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. So, doesn't she sound protected good. me from dad. But it's always something. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, uh, it's horrible. People like to talk. Well, he likes the uh, Grognak comics. Good boy. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. Bloody <laughs> fucking hell. Family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father. Kellogg's mom just gave him. Turn out like him. Fucking cannon. Boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. Right. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I, I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You have always been my good boy. This well, I mean, doesn't seem to be of... what we're looking for. No. No. There no. appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. Temporal sequence. Try that. Yeah, one. I, I, I don't understand what temporal sequence mean, but uh, there's a synaptic road here, so let's just go with it. Me? It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here, and now with the baby. Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. Little Mary. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, mutant? but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. The thing about happiness is... is you only know you had it when it's gone. Yeah, it's usually how it works. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. Oh, I don't say that. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Hmm. Well, Probably been happier than she was with me. The best husband Almost material. Almost certainly lived longer. Or father material. Listen, 
It's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. Yeah, that's I a good promise. gun. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Oh, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. I have to say, I, I do feel kind of sorry thing. for Kellogg now. But he still stole That's my okay. son, so I, I do not regret killing him. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Okay, well, we're going down. Down the nerve thingies, or whatever I called them earlier. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? That sounds hard. Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Thank you. On the slimy brain thingies up to it looks like a bar. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. Right. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Oh, okay. I never did a memory thingy. Maybe I should just do that straight off the bat instead of just listening to their little stories. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, uh, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. <laughs> I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be Sounds stupid good. enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. <laughs> Shutting down. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Well, we can always show. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting mostly now. Mostly intact. That sounds good. 
Manual override initiated. Uh, yeah. Cryogenic stasis. That's, uh... Suspended. Vulcan... How's now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth? If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so... This one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Man, a shit storm. Are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. It's like... Reliving. That's me. Wait, is that really me? This is the me. one. No. Here. There I am. Open it. Hello, good. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. Always something. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. Asshole. Is it Almost. Uh, Everything's gonna be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. Wait. No. I've got him! Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Uh, no time like the present, Doc. Let's get this show on the road. Is that your son? This appears to be a very yeah. recent memory. So, good news, I think. Oh boy. Piper has really done it this time. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But, it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. And I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. I mean, I'm not, I'm not. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. This is getting really, really interesting. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. That sounds bad. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. 
One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Glowing sea? Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Sorry about the radio. Your mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? No idea. Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Okay, what the fuck are they gonna do now? X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Nope. Okay, they have teleportation. Teleportation. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let that me is... get you out of there as soon as you're ready. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Damn. That is really cool. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do cool. you feel? Uh, I'm fine. I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. <laughs> it usually worked? does. Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Yeah, I'll find, find a way, way to get right. through the reds. Don't worry. Good luck. And... I do have a radiation suit. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Oh, so I was asleep for a while. That's, um... That's okay. It's always nice to sleep for a while. Alright, so let's talk to Nick. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Um... Uh, Is that you? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> you sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. <clears throat> anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. Uh, we have talk. to head into the Glowing Sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. Don't worry, I have plenty. Rather, you could buy up all the rad -X and rad away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Got plenty of those, too. Uh, 
I'll see you around, around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. I'm gonna dump Piper too. By doing hey, this. What you got? Trade. I want my silent. There. Yep. I'm gonna back them all. No, no, not those. So now I have too much. Wait, but don't worry on. about that. Uh, talk. Hey, you look like you could use a pick me up. I got. Okay. Uh, dismissed. I think we ought to go our separate ways. Yes. For sure. I guess I'll head home. Just uh, don't keep me waiting. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this log. Bye. There you go. And now my wait. Yeah, two three three. Yeah, three hundred and forty. Guess I have an awesome perk. Let me show you. There we go. Lone wanderer. Increase my carry weight by a hundred and I take thirty percent less damage, which is really nice. But yeah, that's it for now. So uh, let's just take a look. What will you be seeing next time? Me going into the glowing sea, which is apparently extremely heavy in radiation. Fun times. Well. I'll see you then. Bye.